Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to go over how to do a sensitivity analysis in Excel. And so one of the benefits of a sensitivity analysis is you can compare how a change in, in, in a variable can impact your analysis. So it's useful when you're comparing two different options. So in this example, what I'm going to do is, is compare two dividend stocks. So if you invest in a stock that pays a dividend, you're earning a percentage every year. So for instance, if you invested $10,000 in a stock that pays 10%, you're making $1,000 every year. So in this analysis, I'm gonna compare whether you're better off investing in that high dividend stock, or if you're better off investing in a stock that maybe only pays 4%, but it increases its dividends over the years by, by a rate of say 5% or more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up those two different options. I'm gonna call one of them stock A, the other one stock B. I'm gonna put the yield and the growth rate. And so I'm gonna say stock A pays 4% per year, but it grows at a rate of 5%. I'm gonna say stock B pays 10%, but it doesn't grow at all, 0%. I'm gonna change the formatting so it's clear that these are inputs. I'm gonna put my investment amount at $10,000, okay? And put some number formatting there. And now I'm going to look at their dividend income. So I'm going to put the year, I'm going to put dividend A, dividend B. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Copy this all the way down until let's say I get to year 40. There we go. 40 years, let's center that. Let's go with dividend A now and take this 4% yield, multiply it by 10,000. So $400 a year in uh, the initial year, and then subsequent years, it's gonna grow at a rate of 5%. So one plus the 5% growth right here. And copy this all the way down, and I forgot to freeze the cells here. So I wanna keep that growth rate intact. So there we go. So now we can see what that dividend income looks like over the years as it's continually increasing by 5%. For dividend B, what I'm gonna do is take the 10%, multiply it by 100,000, and in this case, I'm just gonna assume that it stays the same every year. It's never gonna grow. So now what I wanna do is do the difference between these. Take 400 minus 1,000, copy this down, and then you can see eventually over time, you know, dividend A starts to generate more income than dividend B, but obviously this is a very long time, okay? So this is a pretty good anal analysis, but the problem is if I wanna say, okay, what does it look like at 9%, at 8%, I gotta change my variables in here, right? So with a sensitivity analysis, I can, I can adjust this and um, make it so that in one snapshot, I can see what those d different, yeah deltas look like over over the years so instead of you know going to your boss and saying okay change this variable here see it looks like this under this scenario this is what it looks like under this scenario it's a lot easier with a sensitivity analysis you've got a one pager that let's say you can just print out and say okay this is how it looks like under all these different scenarios so it's, it's a lot more powerful right so what i'm going to do is change how i've set these up and so i'm going to leave dividend a in there but now what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a column for 5% payout, a 6%, 7 all the way until I get to 10%, okay? And so here what I'm going to do is take the dividend income from dividend A, subtract the 5% yield, so I'm going to take 5% times 1,000. And so this way I can see, okay, the difference is $100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze B10 because I want to keep, because I want to copy these formulas over. And so I'm always going to look at this header for the 5%, 6%, and so on. I'm going to freeze row 9. And I want to freeze the investment amount, 10000 entirely because I don't want this to ever move. And so now what I can do is I can copy this down. And so now I've got all the differences over the years. And then copy this over to column H. And now I've got, now I've got formulas for all those different scenarios. So I'm gonna highlight this, these percentages. And so now 
it's a lot easier to compare all those different dividend scenarios. So one thing that I can do to make this a bit more useful is change the formatting on these cells. So let's say, let's go to currency and I'm gonna put them as the negative amounts in red. So now it's a lot easier to see that progression and how long it takes to switch to the positive. Another thing that you can also do is go to the conditional formatting, go to color scales, and let's say select more rules. And I like the three color scale where I can change the midpoint to white, the maximum amount being green, the lowest being red. I mean, obviously you can play around with these as you like. The point is the visuals help show that progression, right? And where the largest amounts are, where the smallest are, and so on. And you can do individual conditional formatting just for the 10%, like I did it for the entire thing. But again, it's entirely up to you how you'd wanna, how you'd wanna show this. But you know, this, this makes it a lot more reader friendly, I'll say, that uh, you, know, you can quickly see okay, how long it takes for you to get into the positive on 10%, right? On, on a 7%, right? At what scenario, you know, dividend A becomes better. And you can change the variables for dividend A. Let's say it grows at a rate of, oh, let's say it grows at 6%, right? And you can update this. Meanwhile, all these variables still remain the same, the 5%, 6%, and so on. So it's a lot easier to manipulate this way. Now, another thing you could also do is, I'm just gonna pull the first 20 years, and I'm gonna create a chart here. So, the one that I like particularly well for this example is the 100% stack chart, just because it has this cool cool visual here that you can use. So I'm gonna set it to black background here. And one thing I'm gonna change is, I'm gonna change the data, because I don't want dividend A in here. I don't need to compare it against itself. but What's helpful here is now you visually can see, okay, this this dark blue 10%, that's a, that's a big slice. That's a big difference from dividend A initially. And then you can see how long it takes for this to shrink down to down to zero and until, you know, the, the 10% payout is no longer the better option. So, you know, and the, and the 5% yield, the orange one, you know, it only takes a few years before that one starts starts to to be, be the worst option so it, I the chart along with the conditional format can give you a lot of tools to work with as far as visuals and in doing your sensitivity analysis so so there's a lot of a lot of different ways that you can show this and um, and yeah I hope you found this video useful and uh, thanks for watching